Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. And we are here to chat and do a little stamping with you and talk about what's been going on. Happy Friday to all my Facebook friends and my YouTube friends. Thank you so much for coming, for stopping by on a warm Friday afternoon. I think it's still pretty warm around the country. We talked, um, I know I talked with my Wednesday guys about um, school is starting in lots of areas of the country, even here, and it's just so surprising. We don't expect to be starting so soon. Dion, hello. I don't totally recognize you, but welcome. I'm glad you popped on. Maybe you've been here once or twice before. Ross, hello. Good to see you. It's such a nice Friday. It's just, it's a relaxing day. I haven't had too much to do today. I've just been getting ready for this and making cards and it's wonderful. Tammy, good to see you. Diane, good to see you. Hi, baby. Ellie, has a little yellow bow for summer. It's still summer, um, still toasty warm. Um, I know it's that way in so much of the country. Um, I talked last week, I talked about possibly doing a craft room tour. And I'm just a little busy and my room is a little bit messy right now. But I've decided to set a date. So next Wednesday, which will be the 17th, August 17th, I, on our live, the Wednesday live at 3 o'clock Pacific, I will do a craft room tour with you, okay? We'll walk, we'll make a card too, but we'll walk around and we'll look at the craft room and I'll show you um, what I have. And so I just wanted to let you know, I'm not going to, I didn't forget about it. We'll do it next Wednesday, the 17th. She is laid back today, Roz. She's just laid back. She, she just finished her her very late lunch, she left a little bit in her bowl and she just finished it. So I think she's she's a bit sleepy. Um, but yeah, so okay, craft room tour. Um, prize at the end on Wednesday, I did something crazy. You know, at the end of the card making time, I turn the camera up and I usually award the prize. Well, when I went to turn the camera up, I accidentally pushed the the end button. <laughs> and so the whole the whole video stopped and that was the end. And when it's the end, it's that's it. So that was kind of a strange thing. So I posted the prize and it's still on here. You can all um put prize down below if you want it. It's um oh thank you, Tammy. Um, it's a good prize, so everybody can uh, uh, can you know comment for it. Um, and all, over on YouTube, you can do the same thing. We're going to have a different prize today, but that was the the Wednesday prize was just kind of it was just kind of messed up because we didn't even have time to do it. That was so funny. I don't know what I was thinking. I just pushed the wrong button. So I'm going to be careful this time. Um, I know that some of you are demonstrators. And this week, for all of us who are um, Stampin' Up! demonstrators, we got to register for a big event in November. It's called On Stage, and they have them locally around the country in about five different places. Good, Dion. Good. She put prize. And Trudy. Hey, Trudy. Um, so I'm going to put Ellie down. She's getting ready for her nap. So um, I registered for Anaheim, and I wanted to tell you because some of you I know are um, Stampin' Up! demonstrators, and I wanted to let you know that I'm going to Anaheim, and maybe some of you are coming to Anaheim so I can look forward to meeting you there if you're a demonstrator. And if you're not a demonstrator, this is an absolutely great time to join, and I'm going to show you a special joining promotion that we have going on right now. But um, first of all, Let's take a look at my beautiful gift. This big, gorgeous gift is a mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. And I'm calling this my YouTube candy because 
I am wanting to get more YouTube subscribers. And when I get to 2,100, 2,100, I'm going to have a special YouTube and everybody's going to be able to um, be eligible to win this mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. I'm going to have the wheel of names. I've been practicing on how to do the wheel of names. And so I'm real excited about it. And I want to give you um, Justin, good to see you. That's my son, Justin, who's on and just popped on. Oh, that is wonderful. Hi, sweetie. You got to say hi, sweetie, to your kid, right? Hi, sweetie. Um, so anyway, um, the YouTube, my YouTube candy, when I get to 2,100 YouTube subscribers, I'm going to give it away. And I was so excited this week I reached 1,990, so I'm only 110 subscribers away. So I'm really thanking all of you because I know you've been subscribing and getting your friends and family to subscribe. <clears throat> so let's get those numbers up. I'm hoping to do it maybe in September. I would love to get give this fabulous stamp and cut and emboss machine away in September. Okay. What else is news? What else is going on? Um, mystery envelopes. I mentioned these on Wednesday. I have seven mystery envelopes. They're all packed up, priority envelopes, ready to go. Retired paper, retired partial ribbon, um, some of my handmade cards. If you place an order of $50 or more in my online shop um, for the next few weeks, I don't have a cutoff time, I will send you for free um, a mystery envelope and the only thing is you have to use the mystery envelope postcode and I have this um, noted up above so you can see up above what it is this is the miss a special mystery envelope postcode and put this in and if your order is fifty dollars or more I'll see it immediately and I will get this in the mail to you because I'll see your address from when you made your order so I want to give away all those seven mystery envelopes okay what else? Celebration. Oh, Roz, you're going to Jacksonville. Dion, you are? You're in my second downline? Who is your uh, upline, Dion? Tell me. Um, put it down as a comment. That is a surprise. I haven't noticed your name, but that doesn't mean anything. I would love to, I would love to know. So just jot that down, Dion. How exciting. Okay. Um, so, um, celebration. We have new items. I've been talking about 10 new items uh, free with minimum purchases for celebration. So if you place a $50 order, not only you get my mystery envelope, but you also get um, a free celebration item. And I am actually gonna, going to turn you down now and let you see. These are the 10 additional items Oh, Kelly Atchison. Okay, I am. She's not in my downline. She is in somebody else's downline. But that's okay. I'm thrilled that you're a demonstrator, Dion. And if you come to Anaheim, make sure to come and say hi to me. Okay, so these are the 10 new items. Um, the one thing I want to tell you about now today, we're going to use the Aspen Tree dies for our card. But what I want to tell you about is to get these free during celebration, you have to use a special number that's on the flyer. They, these items are, are sold in our annual and mini catalog, but they're, they're, they put them over into celebration for an, <coughs> excuse me, an additional group of free items. But to get them free, you have to use a special um, item number. So Aspen Tree Dies, because we're using them today, I've got the... I'll come back up. I've got the item number um, listed for you up above if you're on Facebook, down below if you're on YouTube. If you want to get the Aspen Tree dies, <laughs> Dion, you found me somehow. Well, I am so glad you found me. Okay, so um, I'm just going to put you down another time. Let's do let's do it where we can see. There we go. So. I've been doing a little stamping in my planner now to get this beautiful planner, um, and uh, Dion got it, apparently. Um, you would um, join Stampin' Up, and what I call, I say it's the, um, it's the ultimate bundle, because 
all you do is fill your beautiful wish list with products and I love it. $99 of pro is all you pay and you get $126 worth of product and it all ships free. And during the month of August you get this gorgeous planner. So I wanted to turn to today, actually I'm going to turn to next week and I'm going to do a little stamping in my planner because I really like to stamp in my planner. And I like to use a stamp that we're using for the day. I've been doing this um, all month. And today we're going to use, I'm going to show you here, because we're using the Aspen Tree dies, we're going to use the coordinating stamp set, which is perched in a tree. Oh, there you are. Perched in a tree. And I'm going to, I could put the bird, but I have out the dots. You all know I love dot stamps. I just love dot stamps. And this one has an absolutely fabulous dot stamp. So I'm just gonna ink that up. I'm using Rich Razzleberry today. Look at those dots. I love those dots all over. I'm just gonna put some more dots right over here and a few more up here. I love dots and I always save my dot stamps and I bring them out whenever I want to put dots on a card. So anyway, this is a fabulous planner. You will love it. If you have not joined Stampin' Up! This is the time to do it. <clears throat> After you join, you get 20% off everything you purchase and it's, it's fabulous. If you love the products and who doesn't, this is the time to join Stampin' Up! Okay. Um, let's look at our project. As long as I've got you turned down, this is great. We're going to use Perched in a Tree stamp set and we're going to use the Aspen Tree dies. And one reason I wanted to use them is because they, you can get them free with a hundred dollar minimum order. And I love them and I want to show you these leaves today. I mentioned them the last time I used them. Um, for a live and these leaves are amazing and I'm going to show you a little technique with them. Um, so here are the, I'm going to show you, this is the card we're going to make today and this is one I've also made that has the bird. Now I know some people, I personally love the bird. Um, I've been calling him kind of the fat bird because it could be a she, um, but she is kind of a little round little chubby baby. And so I kind of call her the fat bird. But I know that some people don't love the bird, so I'm today we're gonna make a card with just the leaves and I'm gonna show you how to do this special treatment to your leaves um, where you we're gonna uh, we're going to blend ink on the leaves and we're gonna curl them up and I'm gonna show you how to get them really lifelike. Okay? So let's take a quick look in the catalog so you know where to find um, this set. It's on page 46 of the mini catalog, um, the Perched in a Tree stamp set. Um, and if you get the dies, um, well, you want to get the dies separately because they're free. So it's the Perched in a Tree stamp set. And I'm, I don't know if any of you kind of copy what is in the catalog. The cards in the catalog are beautiful, so I kind of took my design from this one right here. We're going to make this. You love this bundle, Roz. I'm so glad. I do. I do too. I love it. And so we're gonna we're gonna just take our little um, design from there, and that's how I came up with this pattern. Now, um, so we're not only using the Aspen Tree dies, which are a celebration item, but we are also going to use the silver and gold paper, which is free with a $50 order. And this has striped gold, polka dot gold, let me get it, which we're going to use the, the dots today, dotted gold on white, striped silver, is that the silver? Yeah, striped silver and dotted silver. And this, it comes six by six, and I just love it. And I have put it here behind the, the Aspen dies. Can you see it back in there? And it really is nice. It gives a really nice little sparkle to your card. So let's get started. And 
the first thing we're oh and I wanted to show you the um, paper is on page 10 of the of the celebration catalog which you might want to know so we're going to get started and for this card let me show you again um, the card base is eight and a half by eleven and scored at four and a quarter and then the dies right here are cut in one quarter inch off the size of the front so I have a piece of crumb cake cardstock which is four inches by five and a quarter inches and that's what we're going to use it's about the exact size of the aspen tree dies. Now it kind of surprised me when I got the dies. I didn't realize that the oval doesn't cut itself out. The trees cut out but the oval stays. So let me show you what I mean when you um, do the die cutting. And for this you'll need your full size stamp and cut and emboss machine. Um, I like to call him Mr. Big. And it really cuts very nicely. Now the one thing you might want to pay attention to is if you're going to use the full piece on your card, you want, I'm going to call it the egg shape, to be kind of straight. In other words, you don't want to have it cut out and have it be all crooked like that. So we want to have the die pretty straight. So we'll put it just like that and it fits perfectly in that four by five and a quarter inch piece of crumb cake cardstock. I thought the crumb cake went along pretty well with the gold. Thanks, Dion. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm just running that through. It goes through nice and smooth. And then this is how it turns out. Just like this. So the trees are cut out of your piece of cardstock. And I'm just going to punch out all the little pieces here. And this is going to be the basis of our front of our card. This is what gives the wonderful background to the leaves that we're going to that we're going to cut out. So lots of a couple little things to poke out here, but they come out very easily. And look at how pretty that is. Isn't that just beautiful? Beautiful aspen trees. I love this die. I'm so thrilled that they put it on um, the celebra celebration for free. I'm trying to get all these off of here and into my, my little trash can. Like that. Okay. So now let's begin to build our card. We're going to take um, our card base and fold it in half, eight and a half by 11, and already pre-scored at four and a quarter. I mentioned that before. And we're just gonna use our bone folder here to smooth that out. And now, here's the trick to putting the gold dotted paper behind. Here's a piece of the gold paper, just the way you get it, the six by six. And I'm going to get out my paper trimmer and we're going to trim that down to fit under the aspen trees. So it's, I said the size was four by five and a quarter for the aspen tree piece. And I'm going to come in just a hair bit, like a sixteenth of an inch, just like that. Eleanor, good to see you. I'm glad you made it today. And so this side is just about a sixteenth of an inch less than five and a quarter. That's so we don't have the, um, the edges sticking out, hopefully, right? So what we're going to do is this should fit, the aspen trees should fit perfectly right over, and don't they though? And then, I don't know, I hope you can see those fun little gold spots showing through. I just love it. So what I want to do to give more depth is I'm going to glue this piece down and lift this piece up on dimensionals. So let's get this one glued down. And that is going to give some depth and a little shading behind the beautiful aspen trees. And that's what we want. So, and I like my glue, my multi-purpose glue, because it allows me to move things around a little bit on my page and 
see if I can get it a little straighter than it might have been. Okay, and now what we're going to do, let's press that down. We know that this the dotted piece is cut a little in from the crumb cake piece. So now we're going to adhere this with our Stampin' Dimensionals. And I have a brand new sheet. Oh my gosh, that's so fun to have a brand new sheet of Dimensionals. I love it. And if you have not used or are not using the Stampin' Up! Dimensionals, I really encourage you to do so. I see other gals come to my classes and they are using, you know, Dimensionals from a big box store or something. They're just not the same. They're not as good. I can't say it enough, Stampin' Up! has fabulous products. And whenever I place an order, I always add a couple of packages of dimensionals just so I have plenty around. And we also have the mini dimensionals. I'm not using those today, but those are great for the little, little areas. Okay, so now this, we're going to try to get this right over the uh, gold and white paper, just like that. Now can you see, let me hold it a little, you see how it has, because it's not flat on that golden white paper, it gives, it gives a dimension to it and a little shading under there. I really, I really like that. Okay, this is the, this is the whole background and I think it's just a beautiful background to any card. You could do anything you wanted on top of that. But what we're going to do, I'm going to set that aside. And I've really been wanting to show you these beautiful leaves. You can see even from there the, um, the veins in the leaves that they have here. Um, and what that does, it doesn't cut. The edges cut, but the veins in the leaves emboss, if you will. They emboss the, um, the paper. So I'm going to make, um, I've got, I've got, two different, this one, I'm just going to tell you, I put a piece of rich razzleberry because that's my color I'm using along with the um, kind of natural colors. But I think it's actually too bright. I like, I've, I've um, blended with a blender brush the rich razzleberry on the gold dotted paper and on some crumb cake and I think that looks better so I'm not going to do any rich razzleberry. I'm going to cut out um, from the leaf using the leaves dies I'm going to use just these two papers because I think it's going to be a little bit prettier actually. Hi Cheryl good to see you I'm glad you popped in. Let's get my plate going correctly here. Okay, so I want to make, I'm going to start out by making, I'm going to see if this large leaf die will fit on this piece. I think it will. Actually, I think I'm going to do one of each, like that, the large and the small leaf, and I'm going to run those through first, and then I'll do a couple of the crumb cake. And the reason I'm going to do the blending with the blending brushes is because I really want you just to see how beautiful these veins are. And we've got one leaf back here. I don't know if you can even see it right there, um, but when we put when we put that ink on there, it's going to be just gorgeous. Sometimes if you drop these, the there we go. <laughs> the leaf comes out. Okay, now let's do it one more time. And this time we're going to run it through with the, um, well actually you know something, I really just want the small, I don't want the big leaf, I just want one big leaf on the, on the project. So I'm just going to do a small crumb cake cardstock leaf and then I'm going to do one more, I think, of the, well, maybe I'll do two small of these, I'll just have to do it twice. Okay, let's see. That worked. Yep. That is so funny the way that works. Okay, and one more little one. And then we'll get to doing our blending. I hope you guys are planning on having a nice weekend, maybe a relaxing weekend. 
a, a stamping weekend. That's what I'm going to be doing is stamping. I'm hoping to go out to dinner. I like it when my husband takes me out to dinner. There we go. Um, I don't know what you guys think, but that's what I like. I like to go out to dinner so nobody has to cook on the weekend or at least on Saturday night. That's my favorite thing to do. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of graph paper so I don't get my surface dirty. Put all my leaves out there and I'm going to get out my blender brush and my rich razzleberry ink and let's start doing a little blending and I'm going to show you how these um, just absolutely come to life. So we'll just do like this and you're going to see those veins just pop out. Not in a bad way, it's going to be in a good way, not as, as in a person, but as in a leaf. And I just, I love the way this turns out. Now some people, I have seen some people completely using ink and a blender brush over an entire piece of this beautiful paper and making it the, the paper itself, the whole background for your project. You definitely could do that. I'm just doing it on a limited way today. Tammy, your husband's out of town, so you're stamping and not cooking. Good for you. Good for you. I love it. Love it. Okay. And we'll do the other little small, small leaf with our blending brush. Rich Razzleberry is such a beautiful color. If you haven't used it, you must. Some people, I have a friend who Rich Razzleberry is her absolute favorite color. At least it was. But some of the new colors have come, really come out and been so pretty too. Okay, so now we're going to start with the crumb cake. And see how those veins just pop out? And it, it just gives such a realistic look, I think. I have never seen really such realistic looking leaves from a die that cuts and embosses that way. I just love it. And of course, it's a bit of a fall card, so that's why our leaves are, are rich razzleberry. But you know what I say, when we're making the card, we can turn our leaves any color we want. We could have any color leaves, even if we wanted to have blue leaves. That's the fun part to making a card. Okay, I think that's about enough of our uh, blending brush and now I'm going to show you the other technique that I think makes these so realistic and that is we take our leaves and we just crunch them just scrunch them all up just like this Carol you ate out tonight with your husband and a church picnic tomorrow good for you that sounds very fun so you just crunch your leaves like that just squinch them up and I should, probably should be a little bit more careful with the this uh, designer series paper. <clears throat> but I think this just gives them a, a much more lifelike look, especially if we're thinking that they're leaves that might have fallen on the ground, right? And don't be afraid of it. Just scrunch them right up. That's what I do. It's kind of even fun to think, oh gosh, I don't have to be so careful. I can just scrunch it right up just like that. And then one thing I kind of like to do is I like to use my fingernail, but you could also use a bone folder to kind of turn that little top. Let's use the bone folder. And just, you can turn the leaf, the top of the leaf inward just a little bit. So what I'm doing is just really showing you a little technique. This is just a little technique video here. And you can do this on anything. I've done this on flowers where you layer flowers with dimensionals in between and you curl their petals just like that. Isn't that cute? Okay, now we have our leaves and we're ready to finish our card. Now one thing I am going to do, I have gotten some rich razzleberry ink on my fingers and I don't want it to get on my on the rest of my card so I'm just going to wipe, use a wipe to wipe off my fingers there. Because that would be the worst, wouldn't it, if we just ruined our card. Okay, here's our card. And now we have our leaves. Look how pretty that looks together. Whoops, one flew off. Okay, there it is. And the crumb cake makes 
just gives the darker look. Now we're ready to stamp our sentiment. And the sentiment I'm using here is this one from the set that says, no matter the season, I'm here for you. I think that's a nice sentiment. And I've got it on my block here. And this is the uh, Rich Razzleberry ink. So I think I'm going to put my grid paper under again. I think this, um, I have it planned that this stamp should fit on here just perfectly. So let's see if it comes out that way. We hope so. But I've got an extra just in case. It came out pretty good, didn't it? No matter the season, I'm here for you. I think that's, that's a lovely sentiment. And this could be used um, for almost anything. So this is what we're going to do. Now we're just going to play around and arrange these the way we want them. And we're going to be using more of our Stampin' Dimensionals. So my thinking is I'd like to use um, kind of like this and alternating, kind of alternating the color of the leaves, you know, the crumb cake with the gold dots something kind of like that. Okay, so what what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the leaves on one by one with Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm just going to use one dimensional on these smaller leaves. I want my sentiment to sit against the left-hand side, kind of lower down. I'll put this up so you can see it. So I think I'll put that leaf right there. And then I like to just hold this over to see how it's looking. All right. Now we'll put on the larger leaf, and I, I'm just going to use two dimensionals on that. I'm trying not to use any dimensionals in the lower section because <clears throat> I don't want it to add, to raise up, um, to cause this to bump up, if you know what I mean. Okay, let me just, oops, let me just curl that a little bit more, and I think I'm going to put that guy kind of just like that, okay? looking pretty good. This one I'm going to overlap this way because this is such a big surface. I'm going to overlap this small one to the left with just one dimensional. I really like these colors. I like gold and I like crumb cake and I think the rich raspberry just gives a really nice look. And then I'm going to put this one little one just here on the end. Really, this is an easy card, I have to say. It's, it's really quick and easy and, and beautiful because of these gorgeous dies. I think that should work pretty well right there. And then we should be able to put this right on top like that. And I'm going to put the dimensionals for this sentiment along the bottom. We'll see if it works out. I bet you're waiting to see if I'm going to use that spot, the, the dots um, stamp. And we are. We're going to use that dot stamp on the inside of the card in Rich Razzleberry. And it's going to be gorgeous. Okay, so we're just going to put this right over the base. Isn't that pretty? I just think that's, it's classic, it's elegant. The gold really, really does something. And I have some little tiny brushed, let me see, brushed metallic adhesive back gems. And I'm gonna use just one of the little gold ones to put down here on the sentiment because we like to add bling, don't we? We always like to add just a bit of bling so right down there, we'll just add that little gem. Thank you, Holly. I think, I just think it looks great. I, I really, I really, really like this, um, this bundle, the stamp and die set. But during celebration, you just need to buy the stamp set and then uh, add some other things to it. And for a $100 order, you can get the dies for free. And of course, there's plenty to add to it. Okay, let's get to our to our dots. So I'm just going to put a few dots on the inside of the card because 
I could put a bird, but we're not using the bird on the front of the card, so I thought that would be a little odd. So I'm just going to put some dots. And I thought I got an extra envelope. Here it is. Okay. Here's our blank envelope, and I always love to decorate my envelope, so I'm just going to put a few dots right there. I think that just makes the person say, hmm, that is odd. What in the world is inside of that envelope? So there's our pretty card made with the perched in the tree, in a tree, perched in a tree stamp set, and the aspen tree dies. This is a beautiful, beautiful set, and you will not be sorry um, if you get it. I think you're going to absolutely love it. Dion, thank you so much. Tammy, thank you. Do you have do you do you have this set, Tammy? Tammy actually is a, one of my demonstrators, and she lives just a few blocks from me. So I'm I'm wondering if she has this set. Okay, so now I'm going to turn you up for to award a prize, but I am going to try really hard to push the right button and not cut you off. So let's see if I can do it right this time. Okay. Hold on. There we go. Oh, so thankful. I didn't want to. I didn't want to cut you guys off. Alrighty. So where are my prizes? Here they are. So the prize from last Friday, for everybody who put the word prize, um, is a, a package of five of these really pretty embossed um, treat bags. And we had a lot of people who put the word prize in the comments. And the winner is Tanya Jackson. She is a new person on, um, I think she's on Facebook. And she lives in Illinois. And she had written down that August 24th was her birthday. So happy birthday coming up, Tanya. I haven't seen her yet today, but I hope, um, I do not have your address, Tanya. So um, please contact me so that I can get these to you. And then for the rest of you, the prize for next week is, because I've been talking a lot about them, a package of Stampin' Dimensionals, three sheets, and you won't have to buy them. Um, just put, I always get that the wrong place. <laughs> just put the word prize in the comments, both on YouTube and Facebook. And what I do, as most of you know, is I assign each name a number and then I run the numbers through the random number generator. And so that's what makes the choice for you. So thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Get some good rest, enjoy, and definitely, definitely make a card. Okay, I will see you next Wednesday, the 17th, for a craft room tour. Okay, be sure to come back. Okay.